Your dog's downstairs going berserk. <laughs> yeah, you're scaring my dog. Goddamn right. Episode four. No, or is this episode five? Four, maybe five. I because think, Tim, which one was which one was Tim Kennedy? Oh, we never we never released Tim Kennedy. We didn't release Tim Kennedy. So Tim Kennedy was four. So this is five. So technically, this would be four on the channel. Yeah, this is four that we're actually going to post. Episode four. Welcome back. We haven't done a podcast in a while. We got a new uh, we got a new station or a new a new room. Instead of Kyle's master Praetorium, we have my master Praetorium. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where I do all my dirty, dirty vile things. But the couch is literally sticky, guys. I want you to know. This like, is my like, cast- it's literally crusty. It's this disgusting. Is, this is my casting couch. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the casting couch. I'm about to meet our buddy here tonight. He's coming over for you. Hmm. Hmm. Rape. If you're watching our channel, you know who we're talking about. We got a strike, too. <laughs> yeah, we did get a strike. Yeah, we did get a strike. Um, and we're probably going to get another strike, not by YouTube, but by the people that are about to listen to what we're about to listen. It's about to say. But episode four, thank you guys for joining us. We got a new um, a new room. Uh, we got the couch instead of the milk crates. And we're going to slowly piece this thing together. But thank you guys again for joining us uh, on the podcast. First things first, we all know what happened with the um pistol brace ban we're not going we're not going to talk about the, the pistol verbiage. brace about the pistol brace ban you guys there's numerous videos out there and they all say the same thing um but <laughs> i think we're gonna ruffle a lot of feathers with this video um and i think a lot of people are going to get mad at us but before we start talking about before we start talking about what we're going to talk about just we need to make it extremely clear. We are pro, so pro Second Amendment. I think that you should be able to buy grenades at the supermarket. I think you should have grapes, apples, and then hand grenades, and then 240 machine guns right at the supermarket. That's how pro Second Amendment I am. So we're not siding with the ATF. We're not siding with any government or anything like that when it comes to gun laws um, because we are extremely pro second amendment and please 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 don't leave in the comment section yeah you, you guys you guys are for the ban you guys I'm are for pro this. second amendment but no right. that's not what's happening that's at all. not what we're saying we're not saying we're pro second amendment but there's no ifs ands or buts about it we are a hundred percent pro second amendment to the t borderline extremist machine yeah. guns i think we should be able to buy machine guns at walmart but that's not the world we live in but we digress we do Reality of the situation is everyone's going to comply with this. Yes. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. Um, you're either going to register it or you're going to leave that brace on it and it's never going to see the light of day ever again. Yes. And what are you doing by doing that? You're complying. Right. So that goes back into, I guess that would be, well, first let's talk about um, the bump stock. Let's for, let's first talk about the bump stock ban. That just got that just got squashed, I think, last week or something. So, if you guys aren't familiar with the bump stock, what was that? 2017 is when they shut that all down. The Las Vegas shooting. After the Las Vegas shooting, they outlawed um, the bump stocks, made them illegal, and they said that you have to destroy them. Pretty much, you just have to destroy them. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And that was that. It was unconstitutional as fuck. It was completely wrong man dude we were like 18 with a bump stock <laughs> for real dude i mean i remember i bought i remember i bought my <laughs> my bump stock offline for like it was like 75 bucks yeah i was like 18 running around with a bump stock yep. it was wild <laughs> it's <was> pretty fun <laughs> that's how that's how pro second amendment we are but going back to the bump stock ban they squashed it but the point that i'm trying to make and we'll, we'll go back to this bump stock ban but the point that i'm trying to make is yes it did get squashed but it took what seven Five years, years? Yeah. six years six, seven years. So in that time frame, if you got caught with a bump stock, you were, going, you to were going to jail. You were a felon. It doesn't matter how unconstitutional it was. Doesn't, it doesn't matter what you, you think should happen. You, you were going to go to jail. Um, and that's just the harsh reality of it. But we will go back to that bump stock, um, ban at a later time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's, what's going to happen with this pistol brace ban. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We, 
again, we sound like we're siding with the ATF and I can't say it enough. We are not. But let's just look at the reality of what's actually going to happen, the harsh reality of it. And the harsh reality of what's going to actually happen is you guys are all going to comply. So you guys are all going to comply one way or the other. Here's the reality of the situation. Fight it. Don't wind up in jail. Yep. Don't be stupid. All right. right. You know, uh, write your representative, sue the government. Right. Do all those things. Right. But do not wind yourself up in right. prison for 25 years where you cannot make a difference from there. And we're not Don't lawyers. Be, uh, yeah. And we're not lawyers and we're not giving you guys any legal advice or anything or telling you guys what to do. You're all grown adults and you can figure out what you want to do with you, you make up your decision. But the harsh reality of, of, of what's going to happen is everybody one way or the other will comply. Going back into, well, let's just start out with... Um, just briefly, you have 120 days to register your pistol brace, or it's an it's an SBR, and you are in possession of a NFA item, being the SBR, and you can face up to 10 years in prison, and I think up to what is it, 250 thousand dollar fine or something crazy or whatever it is. Um, Got me, dude. Fuck the law. So that's that's <laughs> that's what that's what the reality of it is. Um, we're not talking about if it's unconstitutional because we all agree and nobody's going to argue that it, that it, that it's not unconstitutional. I oh. think it's completely wrong. It's completely illegal. The ACF has definitely overstepped, overstepped yeah. big time and they definitely, you can't just start making all the, these laws. The it, issue is, is these things have been accepted and they've become commonplace in our society right. and especially in the gun community. Right. Everybody has a, everybody that I know has an AR pistol. And the thing that in, in the, in the worst part about it is they said it was completely legal for like you, 10 years for, ago. Yeah. And so, for the past 10 years, it's been ca- like catch it, like cat and mouse. Hey, it's okay. No, it's right. not okay. Hey, you're using it wrong. You know, so on and so forth. Right. And now, but now you're going to turn around after there's millions of these in circulation. You're going to say, nope, now it's illegal. Yep. And you, think, you're you think the ATF is smooth enough to process 40 million tax stamps? No, they say it's going to take days? like 69 years or something if they were going to do them all. Apparently, there's only eight people doing the forms. <laughs> Yeah, I watched the video on it and they're doing, eight people are doing the forms. But again, I think that we're kind of, and this is what a lot of videos that I was watching about, about the ban, they always, they they keep going into stuff like, all right, it's wrong. Um, It's not going to, it's, they're not going to do this. They're not going to do that. It's going to take 69 years, yada, yada, yada. We get that. There's tons of videos out there that are on that. And this, this video is not going to be on that. The point that we're trying to make in this video is we're going to look at the harsh reality of it and the harsh reality of probably 98% of people are going to do. First things first, they say you have to register register your pistol brace. And the first thing everybody says is not happening. I'm not going to comply. I'm not registering nothing. But let's make this extremely clear. You actually think that your 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 firearms are not registered. They're already registered. What do you think that serial number <coughs> is linked to? The serial number is linked to the firearm. The fire number of the firearm is linked to you. To say that these rifles and to say that these guns are not registered is just stupid. To the to the point that we tr- we tried to pull a quickie and they yes. called us on it. Exactly. They, t- they were like, oh, no, that is not exactly. an AOW or a uh, pistol. Right. That is a rifle. And know what it is. And, I was gonna, and it's registered to you, Andrew. Exactly. So to, so when people say that their stuff isn't registered, um, perfect example. So I had an AK. I was giving it to Kyle. I was transferring the, the, the AK over to Kyle. So we were getting the authorization number to transfer it from my name to Kyle's name. We tried pulling a fast one on them saying that it was an other. They pulled up the serial number and they said, no, it is not. That is registered as a rifle to to you. you. And you bought it three weeks ago. And you bought it. They knew when I bought it. They knew where I bought it. They knew the exact serial number, the the exact barrel, exact everything. All of my info, Mm -hmm. it popped up to everything. Uh, so that's the yeah. point that I'm trying to make is what is people think that their that their firearms are not registered. If I have if I use that AK and I'm in we're in Connecticut, if I use that AK in a crime in Washington, hypothetically speaking there was a crime that we committed there and they found the rifle. They find the rifle, they search the serial number, 10 times out of 10 it's going to pop up as Andrew from 153 Smith Street, Connecticut. 
Yeah. So there's to, so when people are saying I'm not registering my firearms, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, it's or, already are, registered. It's already happened. It's already happened. We're, we're well past the point we're of well being, past you know, it. when you used to be able to go buy a <laughs> shotgun in, you know, mom and pop store and right. everything was all well and dandy. And it was just whatever. That's not the, yeah. that's not the reality of it right now. The reality of it is you bought a you bought a pistol it's serialized as a pistol and it's linked to you. So to say that they don't know who has what, where's this, where's that, that shit is already registered to you. You pull up your name in whatever database they have, all their creepy databases, they pull up your name. It's going to say, all right, you have this, 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 and this. And everybody's like, no, that's not what they, that's not how it's said. I'm telling you right now, if you've, if, if anybody, if you probably haven't worked for the government, they will find every little tiny detail about you. So to say yeah. that they don't know what you have is just stupid. We're not I telling mean, you, you think, to comply. We know from work and everything, we know we what that know what they are capable before of before we go in there. We know exactly, we know exactly the what weapon, what caliber, every little tiny do thing. Do they have a permit? Everything that's expected. Every little tiny thing. I got, so when we were doing, when we were doing the night vision goggle um, video, you can hear it right in the video. When they pulled me over, I gave him my driver's license. I heard it over the radio, possible or not, not even possible. They said he, it told, I heard the dispatcher tell the police officer that I have my pistol permit most likely has a gun. So you're telling me <laughs> that these, that the government cannot figure out if you have a pistol permit and who has a pistol, or I'm sorry, not a pistol permit, gun. who has a, <laughs> who has a gun, where it is at, who it belongs to and what it is. So to say that it's not reg that yeah, it's not, you're not going to register it. You're not going to apply. We're, we're not telling you what to do. You're a grown adult. You can do whatever you want. We're not, but we're also not telling you to break the law. I'm not telling you to go out and break the law and possibly spend 10 years in prison. We're not telling no. you that, but Don't we're just be trying, stupid. we're just Don't trying to stupid. make these, th these points that everybody's like, we're not registering nothing. Um, it's already registered. It's buddy. already registered. You willingly or unwillingly it is registered. I saw a video. I was watching this video, um, uh, yesterday in the guy, he had a diesel, his, he fixed diesel trucks. He was buying a bunch of oil filters for these diesel trucks. The NFA, or not the NFA, the ATF showed up at his doorstep and said, you bought this, 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 and this off of eBay. Why are you buying all of these, um, these oil filters to make a suppressor? They thought he was making suppressors. So you're telling me, <laughs> you're telling me that the government found out what he was purchasing, what he owns, where he lives in everything, and you actually think that they don't know what kind of firearm you own. So no. let's just days, squash that. No, the reality is of cybercrime, everything like that. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's not, it's not like your, your, um, internet footprint, your computer it's, footprint. It's is, wild. It's so it's scary. It's so scary. And so that's, I mean, you, that's a big point. Just, just to go back on, uh, did you see that video of that guy that uh, murdered his wife and they started pulling up like the shit he was Googling right after he murdered her? Yes. And they was, can find every yeah. little tiny thing that is linked to you. Yeah. So to say that uh, we're kind of mm -hmm. going off topic here, we're trying to make this a little quick um, to get all the points across. But um, to say that it's not registered and you're not registering it, it's like, dude, it's already registered. They know what you have. They know what you bought. They know all of it. I'm telling you right now they do. If you don't believe me, then take this with a grain of salt and you can exit out right now. But I'm telling you right now, they know exactly what you own. They know exactly where you live and all that stuff. So that goes into if you were going to, um, if you were going to register your firearm. Also, they were saying how you have to take pictures of the whole rifle and this and that. No, you don't. It says specifically right there, you have to take pictures of all of the markings, meaning the serial number. So if you were going to register it, I highly recommend you not taking a photo of the entire thing, but taking a photo of just the serial number and the markings on the lower. I don't recommend whatever you, whatever you guys want to do. We're not telling you what to do, but I just I think it would behoove you to just take a photo of the markings 
Don't worry about what you have on it. Don't worry about attachments. Take a photo of the markings like it says. Yeah, don't don't, don't give them anything more than than what they ask for. Okay? They probably already know. But. but they probably already know. All right. But don't tell You have a SIG MCX that's a pistol. We know, what's a, we know what it is. It's a simple Google search if they already don't know what it is. Um, so that, that right there. Your, all of your firearms are registered to you, okay? If you were going to do it, just give them what they request <coughs> and nothing more, all right? Don't do anything more. Then it goes back into that dude's video, if you saw him, where, with, with the 88-day um, form. Did you see that one? Well, the guy went up at SHOT Show. He went up to the to the um, ATF booth and started asking all these questions. Um, he's a lawyer, I guess. And this is what kind of really scares, not really scares me, but I think it was a lot of misinformation. They say 88 days. If your background doesn't go through for 88 days, it automatically is denied, okay? That is the background. That is not the entire form. Those forms, they could take six months. They can take 69 years. But that background if it, if it if it is in 88 days then that's what it is but it's the background check your background check is a different part of the process it's not the entire process so it's not oh hey if your form if your form 1 goes over 88d 88 days it's automatically denied no, no. And I don't know how they do the background checks. I don't know it's the process Nick's, of a, it. It's a Nick's background check. Really, it's automatic. It I mean, yeah. it's it's because you put in all all the stuff on the e form. No, it, it's it's the Nick's. It's the one that goes through the FBI. No, the FBI doesn't do it anymore. No, they swat. They, they changed it. The FBI used to do all of the background checks. Now the ATF does all the background checks. Nice. So I don't you know. Um, fuck. So I don't know. I don't know the extent of it. I don't know if it's just an automated thing that it, that it searches your, um, you know, your name and your your. God, I hope not, because then I'm something. fucked. I don't know. I don't None know. My pistols. I'm I don't know how it. Me. I don't know how it how how the process works, and I don't know if it's an, if it's an actual physical person looking at your stuff, or if it's an automated thing. They just run run your name to see if you have any. In reality, you know, in reality, yeah, I think that's all they're they're going to be looking for felonies, and then um, they're going to. You know, at the end of the day, like due diligence is not happening with these. That's the reality of the mm-hmm. situation. There's going to be so much public, excuse me, public backlash, and they're already we're already seeing it. People are losing right. their minds over it. Right, and in in that go, but and that's totally fine. We got to really really fight this. We totally have to fight this. But going back into the bump stock thing, it took seven years. And you can't it took seven fight years. Shit, you can't from prison you, guys. You can't fight shit from prison. And it's just the harsh reality of it. I think it, this whole ban will be squashed. It ain't going to be overnight unless something miraculously happens with some bill that they squash it in, in the next 120 days, which I hope they do. I really, really do. I hope they do. But the harsh reality of it is I doubt it. I really, I mean, really this doubt. This is going to have to go through the Supreme Court, and as we've seen and it should have gone through the Supreme Court from the beginning, but it didn't. But as so. we've seen recently, the Supreme Court's voice doesn't even fucking matter. Right? It's just it's just you know, a look. Big, look at New York. Look at what New York said. New York, <laughs> the, you know, they ruled that their Jesus Christ, <laughs> their pistol, the gun ban that they had was unconstitutional. This that the other. New York turned around and said, "We don't give a fuck. fuck we don't you. give a shit." Yeah. yeah. So you can say, you know, and it's like, all right, this is extremely unconstitutional. You can't do this. They're still going to be like, sucks to suck. And? Well, we're going to. Well, no, no. It's unconstitutional. You you can't do this. Um, we're, well, the, we're the well, Supreme we're going Court of the to. land. Suck or the suck co- me or say off. You like. get some, say you get some dickhead cop. You can't do this. This is unconstitutional. You're not allowed to do this. Well, um, we're going to. Put your hands behind your back. That's the harsh reality of what, what it is. I hope it doesn't go to that extent, but I just feel that after these 120 days, same thing with the bump stock, it, it, it's probably, it, that's what it's going to be. So you're going to comply one way or the other. One way being you register it, you, you, do, what, you do what they tell you to do, which I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying go do that. You're, it's, it's totally up to you. It's your call. Or you can keep that shit locked up 
which I think a majority of people will, you ain't going to go. I, I, I think, I do think some people will say, fuck it. I don't care. And bring their stuff out to the range, go train within this and that, which I, which I'm going to tell you, I, you. I, I have more power to you, but you're probably going to be a martyr. I really, really hope. I really, really hope you don't get jammed up. But if you do, this is the harsh reality of it. This is what's going to happen. You're right. probably going to get arrested. It's going to be a big deal. And if you get some dickhead cop, you're fucked. And if you get some dickhead judge, you are fucked. That's just the harsh reality of it. I don't know. I don't, like everybody's. It's unconstitutional. They can't do this. They can't do that. Yada yada Correct. yada. But you're, they're doing it. But anyway. they're doing it anyways. So, um, like people what, think that you know they're going to scream like, "Oh, this is unconstitutional." The American right. people don't agree with it. Blah blah blah. The government Which doesn't. We don't. Give, yeah, they we don't. don't give but fuck. the government doesn't fucking care, dude. They don't care. Are you kidding me? I mean, and then and then you know then you look at everybody like look at Connecticut. Everybody's talking about unconstitutional this and that. How long have they been raping our raping the Second Amendment? Twenty twelve since twenty twelve. Yeah. You guys have no idea. You guys have no idea. People from New England know they have an idea how bad the gun laws are here and how unconstitutional shit is here with the Second Amendment. And still, it just flies. It flies. It's so just accepted, and that's what it is. And all these people online and everything are getting all these big dicks, getting all no, no, uh, uh-uh, uh, nope, this ain't gonna happen. This will get squashed. I'm telling you right now, it's probably, it's gonna take a very, very long time. So we're trying to set people up. Listen, be prepared for a, a five, six year battle because that's I that's probably what it's going to be. Right, it's probably probably what it's what what it's going to be. Yeah, it's so just, it's crazy that we've reached this point as a society and sad. And community. Yeah, especially the Second Amendment community as a whole. Right. And, um, but it's where we are and yep. reality is you fight it. Yes. But, um, don't you can't I, fight shit from prison. You can't fight shit from prison guys. Like, like seriously. So again, we're not telling you what to do. We're not giving you legal advice, but us just being normal gun owners where we're, we're, we're looking at the, we're looking at what 98% of people should be thinking about right now. Right. So, um, that's like that being and realistic. We're being realistic with it. Yes. A lot of these people, oh, it's unconstitutional again, kicking and screaming this and that we know it is. We're a hundred percent agreeing with you, but that's not, that's, that's not what we're arguing about. Now we're arguing, arguing about yeah, the, you might get the, thrown in prison. Con- yeah. Isn't constitutional. No. And that's, I think that's already been decided as soon as this became a thing as when they started talking about this a year or two ago. Right. But we're past we're past that point now. We're, they've, they've now we're in the, the fire. Move. Yeah, they made the move. They did it. Okay, now it's how do we move forward from here? How um, how do we move forward from here? And how do we correct this issue? Right. And you know, I mean, like I look. So this is and this is another point that I was trying trying to make. <laughs> I think everybody gets this like um, fictional superhero mentality. No, I'm the, not. Everybody doing this. thinks they're a tier one operator. Everybody <laughs> thinks they're a tier one operator. I'm not doing this. Bring it on. This is my rights. You're not going to do it. All right, let's talk about COVID. <laughs> let's talk about COVID, guys. You you want to talk about unconstitution? You want to talk about all this stuff and all this th- shit you're going to do? This and that demonetized. <laughs> probably, dude. Probably. But you know what? I'm going to say it because you know what? You you, you we got to stop lying to ourselves. We got to stop lying to ourselves. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. Per example, as a look society, at COVID. We went along with it. COVID. Mm-hmm. Not, barely anybody. We all bowed down. All of us bowed down. So well, there's no backbone. Perfect example. Perfect example of it is um, what they were doing with the shots. Get the shot, or you're going to be fired. How many people got the shot? How many people do you know personally that got kicked out of the military? One kicked out of government service. One. Two. Uh, I take that back. Two. We had like six or seven dudes. That okay, six or seven out of your entire unit. Uh, for my guard unit, I think we had quite a few. I don't know the numbers for my guard unit, but through work, we had seven people that were like, "I'm not getting that shit." But I, but I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just saying that a majority of people did comply. Yeah. A majority of people stayed in their house, like houses, like slaves, because the government said, "Do it, do it, comply, or I can face the face the consequences." But that's we all did. We yeah. all did. Well, I didn't because oh, Alabama. I was in Alabama. <laughs> I was in Alabama, and there wasn't really much to comply for to be honest i'm a pussy i complied you guys can roast me in the comments and, Nothing and, new. and i'm telling you right now everybody that everybody that's going to leave a comment and this and that they complied too and now it's hitting them they're like oh shit so <laughs> let's just talk about covid let's just talk about the the ar-15 ban in connecticut let's just talk about what's going on in illinois let's talk about the bump stocks let's talk, let's talk about, about the magazine 94 assault weapon ban. let's talk about for all the, of it for all you fuds that are like they're fucking swinging dick on this you guys didn't do shit back then you're not doing None, shit now you never like, did shit 
shit. You never did shit and you're never going to do shit. You're all, you know, it's, it's to what, what's the, you're, you're, everybody's a hero behind the keyboard. Everybody has these big, these big superhero fictional ideas about themselves behind a keyboard. What's the saying? Um, of course, like 10 times out of 10, somebody's going to say, you see a bunch of people burning in a building. Oh yeah. I would, I would jump into that building and I would save them until you feel the heat <laughs> until you feel the heat. And then all of a sudden everybody's like, Ooh, E, I don't know about that anymore. Now you don't want to be the hero, and that's and that's what we're that's what we're talking about. Make your voice heard, write your congressman. Yes, don't be stupid. That's the only. That's really the only thing you can do. So all of these other videos and this and that, it's unconstitutional. It's this. This is awful. Blah blah blah. We get it. We totally get it. But, but the to ship tell them, sailed. the ship like, has, like the you're, ship you're has sailed, to man. The choir. <laughs> ship has sailed, dude. You have you have two choices now. You have two choices. One, you're going to comply regardless, unless you, yeah. Either way, you're going. You're either way, you will comply. Yeah. If you keep the, your the, all, shit the, in all jail, all three ways that you go about it, you the government's getting their way. Yes. You take that shit to the range and you get busted for it. All right, cool. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. You register it. All right, cool. You complied. You never take it out of your gun safe ever again. It just yep. lives in the dark. Yep. You complied. You complied. So one way or the other, even if this whole form, even if the whole form one thing is a huge trap. And you did comply and it comes back as negative or it comes back as denied, you are still in the same position as you would be from the very beginning. Well, they gave your finger, you give your fingerprints and you give all this. That goes back into what I was saying. Dude, they already know it. They already know it. They already know it. They already know who you are. They already know what you have. So it's up to you. And I I just don't think a lot of people realize that all of their shit is registered. Every little tiny thing, every little firearm you have legally, of course, is registered. It's right. registered to you. They can pull it up right out of the gate and know exactly what you have. So that's that, that's kind of that's kind of it, you know. And um, it is what it is. It is what it is. So well, not really. It is what it is. Fight it. Do everything you can. But um, that ship sailed. We need a new revolution. This and that. We don't come from those people anymore. That was our that was our ancestors. We did come from those big dick daddies that were just like, all right, fine. Yo, you want to tax the tea? Time for war. We don't have we don't have backbones anymore, man. You don't have a backbone no. anymore. So no, I think I honestly <coughs> think if the American people were going to stand up and do something, it would have happened by now. At this point, we're going mm-hmm. quietly into the night. Mm-hmm. So. You ain't doing it. Ain't, 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 nobody is doing nothing. You ain't doing shit. Shut up. So I tell all of them, you guys, you're going to comply one way or the other. You couldn't even, half these people, again, you guys, you guys, well, COVID was what, a 99% survival rate or something? And yet you locked yourselves in, in your house for three years because the government told you to. That was just a simple lock yourself into your house. Man, dude, I was having nothing. a great time. I liked oh, it. I, dude, I was in, wearing sweats every day. Jacking off and shit. <laughs> dude, it was, a, it was a life. Yeah. Locked in unemployment. Yeah, everybody. All right, well, I'm not doing it. Okay, okay, that's fine. Now, when they show up to your doorstep and say, surrender it now, or you're going to jail, we know you have it. Oh, we're going to cut it now. <laughs> we're going to cut <laughs> we're it right gonna now. We're going to cut it now and restart. We don't four. Uh, We don't know uh, this. If, if this is up as five, it's five. Uh, if it's what's up the as date? 4.5. It's January 21st. If it's so. up as 4.5, I won. Okay. Yeah, we don't know what this one's going to be. Um, but. Guys, seriously, yeah. I do want comments because I am highly interested. And I do read them. I do. We read do them. read them. I do. I respond to people. I talk to people. I try to way. respond. I try to respond to ev- to all of the comments. Sometimes I'm I'm guilty. I I, I completely. I did. Sometimes I don't even know how to answer. <laughs> I don't even know. What I'll to either say, but, at the least you'll either get a downvote or an upvote from me. Yeah, you get something out of us, but yeah. um, but all right, guys. We don't know if this is four. We don't know if this is four point five. We don't know if this is episode five. five. <laughs> we don't really know yet. But uh, yeah. thank you guys for for tuning in. Um, we, we were moving around the podcast. We were at Kyle's place. Now we're at my place, which is, this is a little more stable area. So we're going to, um, we're going to make it into a really cool, uh, uh, podcast room, but we just got to get some stuff. So thank you guys for watching again and listening and definitely hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Thanks for being here guys. (laughs) Definitely hit that subscribe button and like button and, uh, definitely leave a comment because we like to, to, um, we like to hear what you guys have to say, but thank you guys again. Uh, midnight run. Episode five or four or four point five. We're not really sure. We're but not later, sure. see ya. I hope you guys like my little lemon pants. <laughs> or what? Forty bucks off eBay. <laughs> Forty bucks off eBay. <laughs>